Jack leapt onto the sand. Do our dance. Come on, dance. He ran stumbling through the thick sand to open the space of rock beyond the fire. Between flashes of lightning in the air was dark and terrible, and the boys followed him clamorously. Roger became the pig, grunting and charging at Jack, who sidestepped. The hunters took their spears, the cooks took spits, and the rest clubbed the firewood. A circling movement developed and a chant. While Roger mimed the terror of the pig, the little ones ran and jumped on the outside of the circle. Piggy and Ralph, under the threat of the sky, found themselves eager to take place in this demented but partly secure society. They were glad to touch the brown backs of the fence that hemmed in the terror that made them. Kill the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood. The movement became irregular while the chant lost its first superficial excitement and began to beat like a steady pulse. Roger ceased to be a pig and became the hunter, so the, the center of the ring yawned emptily. Some of the little ones started a ring on their own, and the complimentary circles went round and round as the repetition would achieve, achieve safety of itself. There was a throb on the stamp of a single organ. The dark sky shouted a blue and white scar. An instant later, the noise was on them like a blow of a gigantic whip. The chant rose, a tone in agony. Kill the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood. Now out of the terror was another desire, thick, urgent, blind. Kill the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood. Again, the blue-white scar jagged above them, the sulfurous explosion beat down. The little ones screamed and blundered about, fleeing from the edge of the forest. One of them had broke the ring and begun in his terror. Him, him, the circle became a horseshoe. It was a thing crawling out of the forest. It became darkly uncertain. The shrill screaming of those that rose before it, like the beast, was like a pain. The beast stumbled into the horseshoe. Kill the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood. Blood, cut the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood. The blue-white scar was constant, the noise unbearable. Simon was crying out something about the deal, a dead man on a hill. Kill the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood, do men. The sticks fell, and the mouth of the circle crunched and screamed. The beast was on its knees in the center, its arms folded over its face. It was crying out against the abdominal noise, something about a body on a hill. The beast struggled forward, broke the ring, fell over the steep edge of the cliff, over the sand by the water. As the crowd surged after it, poured down the rock, leapt onto the beast, screamed, stuck it, bit, tore. There was no words, no movement, but the tearing of teeth and claws.